For all of the scary headlines, most of us don't fully understand how hot dogs are manufactured. Or maybe we don't really want to know. But we took a look at the process from start to finish and were surprised by what we found. Join us as we take a detailed look at how hot dogs are really made. Whether you choose pork, beef, or chicken hot dogs, chances are they're made up of a bunch of different animal parts that most wouldn't consider prime cuts. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations defines those as the raw meat materials used for pre-cooked cooked products are lower-grade muscle trimmings, fatty tissues, head meat, animal feet, animal skin, blood, liver, and other edible slaughter byproducts. Sure, the term slaughter byproducts may not exactly whet your appetite, but making hot dogs means making sure that no parts of the animals we raise and systematically kill go to waste. And that's a concept that most of us can get behind. The trimmings, along with assorted byproducts and variety meats, are loaded into giant meat grinders, similar to the ones you've seen the butcher using to grind hamburger at the grocery store. All of those different animal parts are finely ground at this stage to form a sort of loose, heavily textured meat mashup. After the ground hot dog mixture has been appropriately seasoned and had all the preservatives and bacteria-inhibiting agents added, it's time for the really gross part. For many, this is the stage of the hot dog making process that is accompanied by visuals that will haunt your dreams. The entire mixture is blended with water until it is smooth, resulting in a pale pink meat mixture that's roughly the color and consistency of bad buffet restaurant soft serve ice cream. The meat mixture is typically pureed again at this stage, and the excess air in the raw hot dog batter is vacuumed out of the meat in order to make the finished hot dog more dense and give it a firmer texture. From there, it's on to the casing machines to give the hot dogs their familiar shape that's perfect for buns. The biggest retail hot dog brands in the United States tend to be skinless, though natural-cased hot dogs are growing in popularity. But whether they end up on supermarket shelves in a casing or not, casing the meat puree is still a big step in the manufacturing process. It's what gives hot dogs their signature shape. After all that pink meat batter passes inspection, it is pumped into an automatic stuffing and linking machine. The meat is blasted at high pressure into tube-shaped cellulose casings made from synthetic material, which are then twisted at precise intervals to produce a long string of equally sized hot dogs. The production rate of these machines is incredibly fast. In fact, it takes just 35 seconds to produce a chain of hot dogs so long it would span the length of a soccer field. Twice. After being stuffed into their casings, the hot dog strands are loaded onto giant conveyor racks and rolled through a shower of liquid smoke before moving into an oven with several cooking zones. Here, they are thoroughly cooked under controlled temperature and humidity conditions, and all that liquid smoke has a chance to permeate the casing for an added boost of flavor while they bake. After the cooking process is complete, the fresh-from-the-oven hot dogs get one more shower, this time with cold salt water, which helps to quickly drop their temperature and get them ready for packaging. After cooking and cooling, the hot dog links are moved via conveyor to an automatic peeling machine to strip them of their cellulose casings. Once they hit the peeler, the cellulose casings are sliced open with a tiny knife, and then the hot dogs are blasted with a burst of high-pressure steam, which blows off the casing and leaves just the bare naked hot dog remaining. A typical hot dog peeling machine can process upwards of 700 hot dogs per minute, or about 11 and a half hot dogs per second, shooting them rapid fire through the other side of the peeling machine like a fire hose. Next, the nearly finished hot dogs move along a conveyor belt where they receive a final inspection. The hot dogs get a quality control check to ensure they're the proper weight, and only tubed meat that could be considered flawless makes it through these final quality control checks before being passed off for packaging. Of course, flawless is a term that we use somewhat loosely now that we know what's inside of them. Hot dogs which are damaged, broken, or torn at any point in the process are pulled from the line and prevented from entering the packaging process, ensuring that every package of hot dogs you crack open for a backyard barbecue is consistent, perfect, and ready to hit the grill. Or your person. I like getting hit with hot dogs. It don't bother me none. <laughs> I guess I'm lucky it wasn't hot chili day today. After the cellulose casings are removed and the finished hot dogs receive a final quality control check, the hot dogs make their way to the packaging machinery. 
Here, hot dogs are lined up on sheets of plastic film printed with all of the graphics and marketing claptrap commonly found on supermarket dogs. The film is folded over and vacuum sealed to preserve the hot dog's flavor and extend their shelf life, and then transported to a stamping machine which prints a freshness date on each individual package. After packaging, the finished hot dogs are boxed and shipped in refrigerated trucks to supermarkets to be loaded into shopping carts and shoved down the gullets of people nationwide. Who's hungry? If that's how they make hot dogs, I don't want one. I'm good. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.